Now this is a great little feature for Picasa, and I'll tell you what it is. Um, I have a Nikon D90 and I've taken three clips uh, just to test out the video quality. Now the first one up here is a 1280 by 720. This one's a 640 by 44 and I'm reading this 320 by 216. Now the thing is I want to know how what they look like because I'm working with video. So for an example I've taken a screenshot, here is one, and you can see that if I, if I blow this straight up that this is the, the lowest version from the D90. And you can see that this coffee pot here uh, really is like jumping out. Okay, you can see this part here with the black handle and the glass. Now, if I go through to the next image, and this one is the mid-range video, and I bring that straight up, once again, I can look, and I can see, let's just bring it down a little bit, um, that it's getting better. Then I go on to the last one, and this is the 1280 by 720p and I can bring that in but this isn't really the feature of Picasso because anything can do this and you can see the handle there now watch this I have a facility here where I can click and I can go A to B and when I say A to B what I've actually got is let's just do it again slightly slower um, and what I mean by that is I've got one two three images and I'm going to click on the first one then I'm going to click on A and B, so I'm comparing photo A and photo B together. And you can see the left-hand one here is selected. Now, what this is the bit that I really, really love. And if you can click over here, it selects B, and then it selects A, so you can rotate them and, and change them. And I'll show you what I mean. If I go down here at the bottom, and there is a slider, and as I slide in, can you see that I'm getting exactly the same piece of the photograph for A and for B. So for an example, if I go back to this handle again, and then look at that at the top there, you can see here that it's very, um, you know, lacks detail, but this one is a lot better. Now, if I select this and I say, okay, I wonder what this one changes, I can change to, now I can go in and I can change the, I should show you on the left hand side, do it one more time. So there is the low quality, there is the higher, and there is the highest. Okay, now under, under the bottom here it says selection, it says, and I'm reading this off, it says high. Let me just, just get a pen on that. Um, down here, if you look at that part there, which I'm just circling, and then when I go back onto selecting, can you see it's got mid range and it's got low range. So for an example, if I go down to high range, and then, I go and select in, then just going back and I can, what I'm doing is, oh, sorry about that, is, sorry, A to B, sorry about that, um, and I want to go low, I'm on low, and I want to get onto high there, there's high, and swapping over will be mid, so it's high and mid, so if I pull that in, to try and look at, there we go, look. So highs on the left hand side, mids over, there's not a lot of difference. This is the closest it gets. And then just to finish off, bring it back out again. And I'm saying to myself, and this, this is quite a nice, nice part, can you see the, the side of the, uh, it's actually sugar in there. And I bring this in, watch. Now it was saying that at 12, there you go, look at that. Now on the left hand side, this one, we have got, let's just swap it over, we have got high, so that is my 1280 by 720. On the right hand side, I've got um, the mid range, which is something like 640p or something, or 360 or something like that. It's not totally a lot different, is it? But anyway, that was the A to B comparison tool in Picasa.